Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. I'm back in the old digs today, and it is time for a new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're going to talk about taking advantage of opportunity. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Wow, glorious morning. That's a great welcome. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Catherine. Welcome, both of you. Welcome, one and all. Back to uh, the old show. I'm going to see if I can get the whole show in today. If you follow my Twitter, if you don't follow my Twitter feed, you should. It's really difficult to find at Tom Rigsby. You can keep up with all the greatness that's going on with my provider today. I'm, I'm giving them today, and then I'll start calling them out. Anyway, today is a great day. It's Monday. It's a little gloomy outside, but that's okay. We're going to have all kinds of fun in here today. Listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe and Catherine have done. Leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you were here, and uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming in. Yes. It's the puppy dog. All right. So uh, today, the cost of opportunity. How do you take advantage of an opportunity? Really, this came about through a long discussion last week, and then the quote of the day that just happened to pop up today is one of my favorites. <clears throat> First, let's set the stage for just a minute. Hey, good morning, America. Good morning, Gail. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, the sun is shining. You know what? That's an interesting point. Let me get to that because we flew, <coughs> excuse me, we flew back uh, from Houston over the weekend. Once you get up over the clouds, the sun's shining up there. No matter how gloomy it is underneath, the sun is still shining. All right. So this long discussion about opportunity. We have come to adopt the idea that opportunity, and, and, and we use this, especially in political discourse, we use this word opportunity to mean something that I deserve, Right? And, and and we hear it all the time. I deserve an opportunity for X. I deserve an opportunity for Y. I deserve, you know, I've, I've done this, so I deserve this opportunity. Well, look, an opportunity is not a guarantee. You have to be prepared to receive that opportunity. Oh, excuse me. All right, now the dog's going to irritate me. All right, <clears throat> you have to be prepared to receive that opportunity, which means you have to have the skills, you have to have the wherewithal, you have to have the um, the personal fortitude to pursue it and execute on it. Look, an opportunity is just a set of circumstances. That's all. If you don't believe me, go look it up in the dictionary. That's the definition of opportunity is a set of circumstances. So when we are afforded an opportunity, it means a set of circumstances has presented themselves to us, in front of us. And we all get, you know, we're each uniquely gifted, talented in place, so we each get unique opportunities every day. There's no one set of opportunities. There's not a, a big pile of opportunity over here that we dole out to everybody and then it's all gone. Everybody gets their own unique set of circumstances every day. It's up to you to be prepared to take advantage of those opportunities, which leads me to my quote of the day today from uh, my old favorite, uh, Jim Rohn. I love almost everything he, he you know has put out. I really enjoy it. But here is the quote for the day. You must either modify your dreams or magnify your skills. You must either modify your dreams or magnify your skills. Think about it this way. If your dreams were attainable in your current state, wouldn't you have them already? Hmm. Just 
ponder on that for just a minute. Now, a lot of people will say, well, yeah, but this opportunity hadn't presented itself yet. It has nothing to do with it. I mean, if this is one, this is one of my one one of my big arguments, right? If you were going, if if somebody says, "Well, I'll do that when the time is right," all right, well, you know, tick tock, buddy, the time is right. Do it now. Why not? Well, you know, this circumstance, that circumstance. You're not prepared to take advantage of that circumstance anyway. So it doesn't matter whether it presents itself or not. In fact, it probably has already. And because you weren't mentally prepared to take advantage of it, you didn't even notice it. How many times have you had a conversation? You met somebody at a, at a networking event or at the, the out of context ones are great at the grocery store, at the convenience store, pumping gas. Now, a friend of mine, Joe. Stopped to get gas in the car and picked up a, a six-figure contract over the gas pump just because he talked to the guy that was on the other side of the pump. How many times have you met someone that could have turned into a great client, a great customer, a new job, whatever? She didn't bother to say hi. I always talk to people on the airplane. <laughs> it drives my wife nuts. I always talk to people on the airplane. You'll never know who's on the plane. Never know. Right? So, opportunity. Remember, opportunity is a set of circumstances. It has to be, it's something that we have to be looking for all the time. We have to be prepared for constantly bettering ourselves. Right? It's not about, you know, and I've talked a little bit. Maybe I'll get into this more as we get through the week. Um, Finite versus infinite goals. But, I mean, this should be, self-improvement should be one of your infinite goals. In fact, all of your threads, uh, goals should be infinite goals. All right? All right. Catherine's got a comment here. Opportunity is a possibility you are willing to see and step into with purposeful action. Hmm. Might go along with that. Otherwise, it's just a set of circumstances. It's not an opportunity until you take intentional action. I can go along with that. That's a pretty good one, Catherine. Thanks for sharing that. In fact, look, I'll even do this. I'll put it up there so everybody can see it. All right, that's it for today. Look, I want you to look around for opportunity today. The way that you take advantage of opportunity is to constantly be bettering yourself and constantly be on the lookout for it. All right, if this has been helpful for you, I'm glad. That's my goal. If uh, if it has, I'd love it if you would share it with your network, share the video, like it, give it the thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. Um, but uh, otherwise, I appreciate you being here. It's Monday. That means tomorrow's Tuesday, and I'll be back with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.